Hello, I'm Fergus. Welcome to my Booth's Garden studio. Uh, I've had this for about three, maybe four years now, uh, and I use it mainly as a, a, a sort of quiet room in the garden uh, and uh, plenty of toys. Um, and the kids come and play here and we have uh, board games and we lovingly call it the games room. Uh, but there's lots of crafts and art and uh, activities that go on here as well. Um, but for me, really, it's a, it's a quiet space in the, uh, in the garden. It's away from any screens and uh, it's quite nice to sort of come and sit out here and, and have a bit of a peace and quiet on my own sometimes as well. Um, so uh, booths were a fantastic company. Um, the things that I liked most about them was how easily everything was fitted. So I think it took I don't think it took more than two days really to put it all in, as I remember. Um, we've got an access to the garden that's only got uh, a sort of narrow alleyway and a narrow gate about the size of a normal doorway and all the materials, all the pieces and everything fitted through there with no problem at all. Uh, they're extremely competent, extremely quick and, um, and it went up so quickly. And uh, apart from putting a, a nice yellow sunny colour on the walls, I haven't had to do any maintenance whatsoever. Uh, I think the only thing that I've, I've sort of changed or done since it was installed uh, was to put some weed suppressant material down uh, around uh, the edges just to keep it tidier and keep the weeds away from it. But um, uh, that's probably the extent of my gardening. Um, so it, it, we get a lot of use out of it and it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think the th things that I like most about it, so I opted for the air conditioning unit. Um, and the fantastic thing about that with the insulation is that it keeps it really, really warm and cosy and the room is usable all year round but uh, we've had a couple of horrible heat waves in the last few years and coming in here with the air, con air conditioning climate control on is amazing um, and it's sort of the only it's the only place to be in the house where you can escape the heat and it's, it really makes all the difference uh, and we don't put it on that often we don't need it all the time it's well insulated it's warm it's cosy uh, but it's nice to have it and on those occasions when it's been really cold or really hot, it's just been fantastic. Uh, I also opted for the um, the, the added TP telephone uh, line for Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi reception in the garden room is actually better than in the house, which is amazing uh, and works absolutely fantastically. Um, I've got a little pull-out sofa bed here, which is covered in toys at the moment. But uh, I've had a few friends that uh, have stayed over and crashed over on the sofa bed um, and uh, they've reported that they've had an extremely comfortable night sleeping here. I was a bit worried about it, uh, thinking I wonder what it'd be like to stay the night here. Apparently really, really nice and people have really loved it. Um, so the company's been fantastic. The aftercare has been amazing. Lots of contact and lots of updates um, on things that are developing within the company. And um, as I say, had it for... Uh, a few years now and I haven't had to do any maintenance it's still looking as good as it did the day I got it I think the only thing that I ended up buying and putting in later uh, post was the was the blinds for the doors and the windows which I think just had a nice touch especially if you've got somebody who's crashing the night uh, makes it better for them uh, and I've, I really like it and I thoroughly recommend them. Uh, I think a big thing for me was I'd looked at other options. I looked at wooden options and um, garden rooms um, that were, were pretty much just slightly, slightly better than a shed. Um, but I kind of think I'd almost be halfway through the life of that room now. And uh, whereas this uh, Booth's Garden Studio, I know is 25 years without any requirement for maintenance, which means I'm barely starting the life of this room and I wouldn't be without it now.